In this photo provided by the New York City Police Department, officers respond to a report of gunfire along West Street near the pedestrian bridge at Stuyvesant High School in Lower Manhattan in New York. Tuesday, October 31, 2017. Martin Speechley, NYPD via AP. New York, AP. The latest on a vehicle driving onto a bike path near the World Trade Center site and memorial. All times local. 9.50 p.m. Two law enforcement officials say a note was recovered inside the truck that barreled down a bike path near the World Trade Center, killing eight people. One official says the note was handwritten in a foreign language possibly Arabic. The contents are being investigated, but the officials say the document supported the belief the act was terrorism. The officials weren't authorized to speak publicly about an ongoing investigation and spoke to the Associated Press on the condition of anonymity. Police say the truck's driver turned onto the bike path Tuesday afternoon, striking several people before plowing into a school bus. Officials say he got out of the truck waving a pellet gun and a paint gun and was shot by a police officer. He's in critical condition after surgery. Underscore 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 Associated Press writers Tom Hayes and Colleen Long contributed to this report. 9.25 p.m. Police investigating a rented Home Depot truck steadily rampaged down a bike path near New York's. World Trade Center have surrounded a white Toyota minivan with Florida plates parked in a new Jersey Home Depot lot. The van is parked near the company's rental trucks. Officials tell the Associated Press the man suspected of killing eight people and injuring 11 more. On the bike path rented a truck from a Home Depot in New Jersey about an hour before Tuesday's attack. The man was shot by a police officer and is in custody in critical condition. The Passaic, Puse, IHK, Home Depot remains open. The minivan is cordoned off. Home Depot spokesman Matthew Harrigan says the company is fully cooperating with law enforcement. He says the company requires a driver's license, insurance information and a credit card deposit to rent a truck. Underscore 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 eight. 25 p.m. New York Gov. Andrew Cuomo, KWOHMO, has increased security at airports, bridges, tunnels and mass transit systems around the state following a vehicle attack on a bike path near the World Trade Center. The Democratic governor has directed the lights on the spire of when the World Trade Center be lit in red, white and blue in honor of freedom and democracy. He says additional security personnel are being deployed to high-density areas and large public gatherings. Eight people were killed and 11 were injured when a man drove a rented truck down a bike path. Tuesday afternoon, police say they shot and wounded the attacker but he's expected to survive. A U S official familiar with the investigation into what happened says the man is from Uzbekistan and came to the U. S. In 2010, another official says the man has a Florida license but may have been staying in New Jersey. Underscore 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 8. 10 p.m. The head of the New York City school system says two staff members and two students were injured in a school bus that was struck by a motorist who drove a rented truck onto a bike path, killing eight people. Schools Chancellor Carmen Farina says trauma counselors will be provided in the schools Wednesday. The attack happened Tuesday near the World Trade Center and several schools and is being called by city officials an act of terror. Quote, it set off panic in the lower Manhattan neighborhood, with people screaming in fear in the bike path left strewn with mangled bicycles and bodies. Police say they shot and wounded the attacker and took him into custody. A U S official familiar with the investigation into what happened says the man is from Uzbekistan and came to the U S in 2010. Underscore 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 Associated Press writers Colleen Long, Sadie German and Michael Balsamo contributed. Underscore 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 seven fifty five p. M. 
A.U.S. Official familiar with the investigation into a man suspected of driving a rented truck down a bike path near the World Trade Center and killing eight people says the man is from Uzbekistan and came to the U.S. in 2010. The official was briefed on the investigation but wasn't authorized to speak publicly and talk to the Associated Press on the condition of anonymity. The official says Saifalo Saipov rented the vehicle Tuesday afternoon about an hour before the attack. A law enforcement official says Saipov has a Florida license but may have been staying in New Jersey. Police say the man was shot by officers and is hospitalized. The man is in surgery and is expected to survive. He can't be reached for comment while in custody. Police say the attack is being investigated as an act of terror. Associated Press writers Colleen Long, Sadie German and Michael Balsamo contributed. Underscore 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 7. 40 p. M. Argentina's foreign ministry has confirmed Argentine citizens died in the vehicle attack on a bike path near New York's World Trade Center site. But it hasn't said how many. A statement says the Argentine consulate in New York is working with local officials to identify the victims of Tuesday's truck attack. The statement says the Argentine government is deeply shocked by what happened. It says, Argentina reaffirms its strongest condemnation of terrorist acts and violence in all its manifestations and reiterates the need to deepen the fight against this scourge. Eight people were killed. Several others were injured. Authorities say the attacker was shot by police and is hospitalized. Underscore 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 7. 30 p. M. A. U. S. Official familiar with the investigation says the 29-year-old man suspected of driving a rented truck down a bike path near the World Trade Center. Killing eight people is from Uzbekistan and came to the U.S. in 2010. The official was briefed on the investigation but was not authorized to speak publicly and spoke to the Associated Press on condition of anonymity. The official says the suspect, Saifalo Saipov, rented the van Tuesday afternoon at about 2 p.m., about an hour before the attack. A law enforcement official says Saipov has a Florida license but may have been staying in New Jersey. The official wasn't authorized to speak publicly about the ongoing investigation and spoke to the Associated Press on the condition of anonymity. Saipov was shot by police. He's hospitalized and can't be reached for comment while in custody. He is in surgery and is expected to survive. Police say the attack is being investigated as an act of terror. Associated Press writers Colleen Long, Sadie German and Michael Balsamo contributed. Underscore 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 7. 25 p. M. President Donald Trump is vowing his administration's full support to New York City's police department in the wake of what he's calling a cowardly terrorist attack. A man in a rented pickup truck mowed down pedestrians and cyclists along a busy bike path near the World Trade Center Tuesday, killing at least eight. Trump says in a statement that our thoughts and prayers are with the victims of today's terrorist attack in New York City and their families. Trump is also expressing thanks to the first responders who stopped the suspect and rendered immediate aid to the victims of this cowardly attack. Quote, he says, these brave men and women embody the true American spirit of resilience and courage. Trump's statement comes after a series of tweets in which he declared, enough, and suggested the Islamic State group might be involved. Underscore 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 7. 20 p. M. The Boston police say there's no threat to their city after a vehicle attack on a bike path near New York's World Trade Center site and memorial left at least eight people dead and 11 others injured. Authorities say a man in a rented pickup truck mowed down pedestrians and bicyclists along the busy bike path Tuesday. New York's mayor calls the attack a particularly cowardly act of terror. The driver was shot by police and taken into custody. Boston police say there's no known threat to the Boston area.
the police department is reminding officers to be extra vigilant during their Tuesday evening patrols, paying particular attention to areas that tend to attract large crowds. A state police spokesman tells the Boston Globe police have no plans to step up security measures. Underscore 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 7. 10 p.m. President Donald Trump is railing against the Islamic State group after a man drove a rented truck onto a bike path in New York City, killing eight people. Trump says in a tweet, We must not allow ISIS to return or enter our country after defeating them in the Middle East and elsewhere. He's declaring, Enough. New York City's mayor has labeled the Tuesday attack in Lower Manhattan a cowardly act of terror. But local officials have made no mention publicly of the Islamic State group's possible involvement. A law enforcement official who was not authorized to discuss the case publicly and spoke on condition of anonymity said witnesses told police the attacker yelled, Allahu Akbar, as he got out of the truck. Trump is also offering thoughts, condolences and prayers to the victims and their families, saying, God and your country are with you. Associated Press writer Colleen Long in New York contributed. Underscore 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 6. 55 p.m. Two law enforcement officials have identified a man suspected of driving a rented truck down a bike path near the World Trade Center, killing eight people. The officials have knowledge of the probe and have identified the suspect as 29-year-old Saifalo Saipov. The officials aren't authorized to speak publicly about the ongoing investigation and spoke to the Associated Press on the condition of anonymity. The suspect has a Florida license but may have been staying in New Jersey. He was shot by police. He's hospitalized and can't be reached for comment while in custody. He is in surgery and is expected to survive. Police say the attack is being investigated as an act of terror. A.U.S. Official briefed on the investigation also confirms the man's name. Associated Press writers Colleen Long, Sadie German and Michael Balsamo contributed. Underscore 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 6 p.m. A law enforcement official says that witnesses told police that the man who drove a rented truck onto a bike path in New York City, killing eight people, shouted, Allahu Akbar. The official was familiar with the investigation but wasn't authorized to speak publicly and spoke to the Associated Press on condition of anonymity. Police Commissioner James O'Neill was asked at a news conference whether the suspect shouted the phrase which means God is great in Arabic, or something like it. O'Neill replied, Yeah, he did make a statement when he exited the vehicle, though he declined to elaborate. O'Neill says the method of attack in the suspect's statement enabled officials to label this a terrorist event. He says the 29-year-old man entered the bike path and drove south, hitting pedestrians and cyclists. He then hit a school bus injuring at least two adults. He says the man exited the vehicle brandishing a paintball gun and a pellet gun. He was then shot in the abdomen by a police officer and is now hospitalized. Associated Press writer Colleen Long in New York contributed. Underscore 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 5. 45 p.m. President Donald Trump is declaring, not in the U.S.A after a man in a rented truck plowed into a busy bike path near the World Trade Center, killing at least eight people. New York's mayor has labeled the attack a cowardly act of terror. Trump says in a tweet, In NYC, looks like another attack by a very sick and deranged person. Quote, he says law enforcement is following the attack closely and adds, Not in the U.S.A. The driver jumped out of the truck Tuesday with a fake gun in each hand and was shot by police. He's hospitalized. Vice President Mike Pence says those responsible for the attack must be held accountable. Underscore 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 5. 25 p.m. New York City's mayor says a truck attack in Lower Manhattan killed eight people and was a cowardly act of terror. 
Mayor Bill de Blasio says the attack on a bike path near the World Trade Center was an act of terror, and a particularly cowardly act of terror aimed at innocent civilians. New York Gov. Andrew Cuomo called it a lone wolf attack. He says there's no evidence to suggest it was part of a wider plot. Witnesses described a chaotic scene of a white pickup truck hitting bicyclists on a path near the World Trade Center and then slamming into a school bus. They say the driver got out of his vehicle brandishing what appeared to be a gun in each hand. Underscore 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 5. 15 p.m. Witnesses have described a chaotic scene of a white pickup truck hitting bicyclists on a path near the World Trade Center and then slamming into a school bus. They say the driver got out of his vehicle brandishing what appeared to be a gun in each hand. Manhattan restaurant chef Eugene Duffy was crossing a street when he heard something. Turned back and saw the pickup truck on the bike path. He says he saw the bodies of two men on the ground. Their bikes mangled. He says he ran south and saw a yellow half-sized school bus that appeared to have been T-boned and firefighters trying to get children out. A law enforcement official says at least six people were killed and at least nine people were injured when a rented van struck them. The case is being investigated as possible terrorism. Associated Press writer Colleen Long in New York contributed. Underscore 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 4. 45 p.m. The White House says President Donald Trump has been briefed on the vehicle that drove onto a bike path near the World Trade Center and struck several people. White House spokeswoman Sarah Huckabee Sanders says the president and the New York native has been briefed by White House Chief of Staff John Kelly and will be continually updated as more details are known. Sanders says, Our thoughts and prayers are with all those affected. A law enforcement official says at least six people were killed and at least nine people were injured when a rented van struck them on Tuesday. Associated Press writer Colleen Long in New York contributed. Underscore 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 4. 35 p.m. A law enforcement official says at least six people were killed and nine injured when a rented van drove on a bike path near the World Trade Center in New York City. The official was familiar with the investigation but wasn't authorized to speak publicly and spoke. On condition of anonymity, the driver of the rented Home Depot van emerged from the vehicle screaming. The official says the man had two imitation firearms. Police say the man was shot by officers and is in custody. The official says it is being investigated as a possible case of terrorism. Associated Press writer Colleen Long in New York contributed. Underscore 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 4. 25 p.m. New York City police say there are several fatalities and numerous people injured after a motorist drove onto a busy bicycle path and struck several people then emerged from the vehicle screaming and firing something that appeared to be a gun. The department writes on Twitter that the suspect got out of the vehicle displaying imitation firearms and was shot by police officers. Police say the person is in custody. A man who was riding in an Uber along the West Side Highway near the World Trade Center says he saw several bleeding people on the ground after a truck struck several people. A witness says the truck had also collided with a small bus and one other vehicle. Underscore 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 4 p.m. Police and witnesses say a motorist drove onto a busy bicycle path near the World Trade Center. Memorial and struck several people. Then emerged from the vehicle screaming and firing something that appeared to be a gun. An Associated Press photographer on the scene Tuesday witnessed at least two bodies lying motionless on the path beneath tarps. The New York Police Department posted on its Twitter feed that one person was in custody. The department says it's unclear whether anyone was shot. A man who was riding in an Uber along the West Side Highway near Chambers Street says he saw several bleeding people on the ground after a truck struck several people. A witness said the truck had also collided with a small bus and one other vehicle. 
underscore 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 3. 50 p. M. Police are responding to a report of gunfire a few blocks from the World Trade Center site and memorial, and witnesses say a vehicle drove down a popular bike path and struck pedestrians and cyclists. The New York Police Department posted on its Twitter feed that one person was in custody Tuesday. An Associated Press photographer on the scene saw at least one person lying motionless on the Manhattan bike path. A large number of police vehicles could be seen near a community college and a high school in a few blocks north of the National Sept. 11 Memorial. It's unclear how many people have been injured or whether anyone was killed. Underscore 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 3. 35 p. M. Police are responding to a report of gunfire a few blocks from the World Trade Center site and memorial. The New York Police Department posted on its Twitter feed that one person was in custody Tuesday. A large number of police vehicles could be seen in Manhattan near West Street and Chambers Street, which is near a community college and a high school in a few blocks north of the National Sept. 11 Memorial. It's unclear if anyone was injured.